everyone, it's Maddie Ann Madison with Spectrum Art and we wanted to share with you our very first envelope pocket album. Um, Rose actually made these last night during a live tutorial on Maggie's White's channel. Um, and Maggie White and Rose, all these ladies are amazing crafters. So I'll be sure to put a link down below to Maggie's White uh, video from last night and also to her channel. Rose does not have a channel, but she does have a Facebook page, so I'll get a hold of that and I'll put a link down below. By the way, Rose does amazing kits um, that she puts together and sells, and um, so you definitely have to check those out, and they go really fast. Um, and I'm still working on one that I just purchased last month, and it, I can't wait to get done with that. But um, wanted to show you this. It was actually kind of neat because the way that it worked is they did a live tutorial so there were several ladies, Laurel and Maggie and I believe Kateri and Rose, all working live, um, you know, at the same time. And then they were showing us, everyone else who was actually watching the live, they were showing us the process. So we were all crafting together, doing the exact same thing. Uh, and it was really neat because uh, you get to ask questions, you know, and I did plenty of questions. If you watch the video, you'll see because um, I was kind of lost. And um, they, they were so kind and they, worked us through it so um, the way that we did this one was actually using four envelopes uh, and to create the four envelopes because I wanted larger ones we actually used um, the we are memory keepers one two three punch board uh, but you could use any envelopes the other ones that we made that I'll show you also um, were made one with this kind of envelope and one with the square one square flap um, so any size will do, bigger, smaller. Here's a leftover one that I made with the uh, punch board. So any size envelope, any envelope you have laying around the house will work. And again, you can do as many or as little as you like. This one was actually done using four and it, we did it utilizing Shell Bell's digital image, um, her pack. And I mean, they're just amazing, amazing images. Uh, these are the larger ones. I did reprint them smaller, but I just wanted to show you how deliciously wonderful some of these images are. And there are so many of them. I mean, look at that, seriously. So, and I'll put a link also down below to her um, Facebook page because she has incredible uh, digital kits. I mean, her Peacock one, I am dying to get into using that one as well because I purchased that one as well. Um, so I bought quite a few of them and they're just amazing. And she is wonderful. She'll answer any questions and help you out um, in any way possible. So lovely, lovely artist as well. Um, but let's take a look at this one. So obviously our theme was Paris. Now this is not part of the kit. The two, the one in the front and the one in the back, um, the background that is, and this little paper here, I actually pulled out of this kit because the paper on it was a little bit sturdier than what I had. So anywho, but that was it. The rest are all from Shell. And I actually have a whole bunch still left over that I had distressed and, you know, used the tool also for the edging. So lots of yummy still left, as you can tell. But we have our front cover and it's got plenty and lots and lots of glitter as you can tell it's also got plenty of lace and we've done corners and we did that throughout it does have a magnetic close so the lace is kind of more decorative but they do work well together so we still used it but I wanted you guys to see the lovely sparkle on that hopefully it's showing then the way it opens is you open and you can close it several different ways but you can see how that gets really nice and long and this is just a four so one two three four and then also we have a back and i'll go through it a little bit slower but we also have a back that when we open you have gorgeous images on the back as well so i'll go through those and you can see that we've distressed uh, with inks. We have distressed with the tool around the edges. We have created corners. 
for them as well and used our Inca gold to go ahead and make them look vintage. And let me make sure I show you guys. The, uh, this is the uh, Tim Holtz tool that you use to make the edges look all torn and weathered and aged. So we use that. And then the inside images. Jim Paris, a lady with a hat in the Eiffel Tower and some gorgeous butterflies. Amour, right, love, with the bird cage. And I'm sorry for butchering the language. <laughs> um, and then some beautiful butterflies with a girl and then some writing here as well. And again, we have corners on all those and doilies behind them. Now, the neat thing is, that this side serves as the back for these and in each of these you have a pocket because remember you're using an envelope so each of these is a tuck spot so we went ahead and created some using some butcher paper we went ahead and created some little note cards and we've stamped them and here's the fourth one and we made them look old and distressed and the texture is just yummy as you can probably hear and we went ahead and stamped them with some Paris stamps we have the Eiffel Tower Bar Avion Francais the stamp I guess Franks 25 cents bonjour mon ami hello my friend with some butterflies to kind of Keep those butterflies going from from the theme and then of course a beautiful vintage bicycle and Paris on top and so these are great journaling spots or picture spots you know plenty of writing room on these and they kind of just tuck back in there and then of course you fold the whole thing up again and you have your magnetic closure and then you have your ribbon and you have a lovely lovely envelope pocket album so now in addition to those we had also started some other ones last night so these things are addictive by the way so you've been warned uh, you'll be making some more I started this one yesterday I haven't finished it but it's got lots of yummy teals and pinks hang on yeah hang on I'll show you yours in a second and then this is the other side and again this one's got lots more pockets because as you can tell it's got one two three four five six envelopes and then I haven't you know put on the first one because I'm still thinking of what to do with it you know the cover and then Madison do you have yours let's show yours I love Madison's because I love that movie Coco from Disney I am in love with that movie it's just so cute if you haven't watched it definitely watch it a very pretty movie um, good message to it so she went with um what was the name of the paper i can't remember the collection uh, fiesta i think fiesta. yeah fiesta from michael's and it says hola on the front and then it's got fiesta and avocados and all kinds of delicious mexican rich colors oh yeah that's okay that's her flap which we're going to be mounting on hopefully here and here we have hola salud fiesta beautiful reindeer look at all those rich colors and then on this side we've got more yummies and more papers and more pockets and there you have it so still working on those last two um, but as you can tell they are really easy to make very little supplies just some envelopes a glue stick if you have a paper collection great if you don't have a paper collection and you want to go ahead and just either create your own messy paper or just you know paint the envelopes themselves um, you can definitely do that and just have this gorgeous album that kind of folds and tucks into itself and would make a great gift and can be done for any occasion so i'll go ahead and link below um, thank you so much for joining us i hope you have enjoyed it and um, if you have any questions or any comments please leave um, your questions below thanks so much have a blessed day bye, bye.